Hello, this is Wang Ling. Today I will be using HOT methodology to evaluate Oracle Corporation's stock price. Since Oracle reported weaker than expected quarter for sales, its share price has fallen significantly to around $30, so should we buy or sell? From the relative wealth chart, we can see the firm has been consistently generating CFRI well above its discount rate, implying its ability to create wealth for shareholders. After 2008, its CFRI fell down. When we look at sales margins and turns, which are primary drivers of CFRI, we can see the decrease in CFRI is mainly due to decreased sales growth and decreased asset turns. Now let's use Hall default model to calculate the firm's fundamental value. Based on IBEST consensus earning estimates, the forecasted CFROI and SS growth are listed here. Together with the firm's discount rate, we are able to calculate the firm's fundamental value and then its warranted price, which is 135% higher than its current market price, implying the firm is undervalued. Market implied model replaces house warranty price with current market price. The results suggest CFRI will decrease dramatically from 23% to 7.8% with, within 10 years, which is implausible based, based on two reasons. The first reason is from the perspective of fit rate determinates. The firm has a good track record of consistently generating CFRI above 20%, implying the 7.8 fit rate is unreasonable. The second reason is because there will be opportunity for the firm to grow. I expect there will be continued strong demand for the firm's existing products. The firm is also ready to launch new products and to boost its cloud computing. This will help to increase its sales margins and turns, thus driving its CFRI, so the market implied fit pattern is implausible. At last, I have also created a conservative scenario which uses past year's averages. The years are chosen such that a lower warranty price can be derived. Even in this situation, a 30% higher price can be warranted. All three models suggest Oracle is undervalued. All three models suggest Oracle is undervalued. Moreover, it has a lower risk compared to its peers, so I suggest a buy opinion based on long-term investment thesis. Thank you.